Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new robotic kit called the Robot Creator DX. Now this was made by a company called Nua Robotics. Essentially they have different robots that they created. One looking identical to this, but this one here is a little bit different, mainly because of the fact that you build it, customize it, and you can even program it yourself. Now apparently this thing is pumped with a lot of different applications and different motions that you can go ahead and program. So it'll be kind of interesting to see exactly what it's all about. Now if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this here's the packaging, and this here's our box. Pretty hefty box, pretty cool looking as well. Kind of shows you the inner workings of the robot. Now uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Ha <laughs> cool. All right, so it says start from here. Uh, so it looks like there's this, a QR code, so you go ahead and scan that. Uh, it'll kind of give you step-by-step -step directions on how to build this thing. So we got our product warranty, we got our product user manual, so again, Explaining you go ahead and step by step how to build in terms of specifications. However, it's all gonna be online in a browser. Now we do get a nice looking key, so this is cool. So this kind of gives you all the different things that are included. So looks like we have some panels based on sections. So we have like the arms, we have uh, the head, we have servos, a uh, variety of different portions here, including wires and just a lot of different products going on here. Now, it does look like you have a variation of different servos, so that's kind of cool to see that they don't just give you the simple one kind of design servos, but different formations of it. So it should be interesting to see how this all plays out. Looks like everything's nicely packaged. Uh, so just kind of jumping into this thing. So we have these boxes here. So this here is gonna be our hands parts. Cool. Uh, so let's open this up. Oh, wow. <laughs> there is a lot of components to this thing. Uh, so you have a bag full of different wires and each of these are actually labeled based on numbers. Uh, and then you have these different joint servo portions. Uh, you have some different clear casings. Uh, let's say different joint in terms of like uh, pivot points. All right, so we have ourselves, look at that, a speaker. That's actually pretty cool. And then we have all these different portions of the, the arms that we're gonna be building based off of, as well as some ears too. So that's actually pretty cool. In our second box here, we have our head parts. Oh wow, look at that. That is pretty cool. So you got this gigantic screen uh, with the camera on top uh, and a hollow inner workings with a lot of different ports to plug and play. So this is, should be quite interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, and then we have the back panel too in here at the same time. So that'll just kind of go in the back of that. All right, moving on, we have some body parts. Okay, so inside here, uh, we have a lot of the body portions of it. So these are more mainly like uh, the, the stomach area. Uh, you can see right here, this is where the light will be going in the center. Uh, we have a few different variation of body panels in here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this looks pretty promising. I do know that it does have wheels on the bottom, so that's kind of cool too. All right, so on the bottom here, oh, 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 this is so cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Talk about eye candy. <laughs> uh, I'm a sucker for servos, so seeing this stuff really makes me happy. <laughs> Weird, right? So you have a variation of different servos. You got micro servos, we got these larger servos, uh, and then we have some mortar for the wheels here. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, inside here we have our battery pack. Uh, we have a USB-C cable alongside with a charging block. Uh, looks like we have some LEDs. And then inside here we have oh, a little tool case. Look at this. That is that's pretty cool. Everything is properly labeled. I love that. So it showcases all the different screws. So it looks like we do get three different screwdrivers. Pretty neat. So nicely organized. I like that. All right, so really cool stuff. And then, oh yeah, we have the little LED here. Oh, so you can actually like customize that too. Uh, I know you could 3D print parts for this thing. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and build ourselves a robot. 
All right, so our robot is finally complete and overall it looks really cool. I love the transparent display. It kind of gives you like the showcasing of the inner workings and kind of rewarding at the same time because knowing that you built it is also really cool. Now, I really am a big fan of the robot mainly because it looks really interesting. Uh, so you have a head servo, it kind of moves about like this and then you have these arms too. And there's a lot of different pivots and a lot of different points where the robot can control and essentially move itself. Uh, on the top here, we do have these little cat ears. Uh, we have our power button, we have a sensor, we have a touch sensor. Uh, then you have your wheels here on the bottom as well as a rotational panel. And uh, you have these little LEDs throughout, which looks really cool. So let's go ahead and boot them on next and see what happens. All right, so you just hold this power button here on the top for a few seconds and the robot will boot up. It'll say uh, Nua Robotics. So this year will be the boot up process of the robot. Now the screen does attract a lot of fingerprints, so just exercise caution, make sure you wipe it down from time to time. Uh, and it does have a little bit of a glare, so it does make it look difficult to see. But I do know that you can adjust the brightness on this, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but just keep that in mind. So this here is our loading screen. Uh, so it'll kind of showcase different faces and different appearances as you're using it. All right, and then here is our robot. <laughs> Friendly looking character. Uh, you can just go ahead and customize the face too if you like. But in order to get to the menu, I gotta swipe down like this and just click this button here. And then this will give you the full access of everything that you could do. So you have uh, Nua Theater, Nua Show, Adventurer, which is games, uh, achievements, accessories, code lab, dance editor, camera mode. Uh, there's a store with a different variety of different apps that you can download, voice command. Uh, you can program it to recognize your face, which will greet you. Uh, you can program family members as well. Uh, you have your downloads. Uh, you have a lot of different things in here, which is really cool. So to kind of showcase you a little bit what this robot can do, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of jump into Nua Theater. So Nua Theater will be more of a demonstration of the different things that you can do from interactive storytelling to sing and dance, uh, to uh, English and Chinese, a lot of different things there. So let's just click on sing and dance. And from there we can select a song. So let's just click on hip hop and let's watch this. We're gonna give it some space. And then we hit play. Yeah, I've been just picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up. So there's a lot of different dances besides the hip-hop, obviously. Uh, so if you're not into hip-hop, uh, you have a Hungarian dance, you have the Nutcracker, <laughs> uh, you have Song of Joy, you have Blue Danabu, I'm not sure. Uh, you have an opera, an opera, and a ke the Kebby theme song. So let's just try the opera. Around. Kind of curious to see how this plays out. Oh. So like a traditional dance? Oh, I just changed the space. Is this a this is a thing where they change their masks? Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for watching my performance on face changing. That was pretty cool. Good job. Of that <laughs> uh, the Hungarian dance
clapping, huh? All right, enough of that. So it kind of gives you an idea of all these different moves and songs that it has. It's kind of cool to see something other than Gangnam Style for a change in terms of robotics goes. So hands down to them for creating such great animations. Now it definitely has like an animatronic feel to it as if you see something in the Disney, Disney World or something like that. And uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. So moving on, this year's gonna be our main hub again. Uh, so we already kind of went over the theater and the show, uh, but there's also Adventure, which is essentially a game. I can click start. The way this works is you want to pick up the battery. Now this is, involves programming. So in this case here, uh, there's a battery right below our character. So we're going to dig once to get to the, the square below it. And then we're going to pick up the battery. Uh, if we do it wrong, you'll miss out. But I believe that's the correct one. So we'll hit play. And the cool thing about this is the robot will actually physically perform the action. Like that. And then I'll dig and pick it up. There we go. So in this case here, it says success, like we got it. So that's actually really cool. So then uh, from there, I can click on the next level and it'll get a little bit more intricate where you have to dig a little bit deeper um, and do different tasks based off of that. So swipe up and go back to the menu. Now again, this year is gonna be our main hub, uh, kind of showcasing some of the other things that we can look at. So if I go in settings, I can customize the robot so I can go through all the different things from motion control to eye care to update, etc., which is actually pretty nice. So it does give you full control over the robot in terms of customizing it. Now, aside that, you also have games. So you have other games too that you can play, including Quiz Dash, Charades. Uh, you have your achievements, which essentially is the award system. So as you continue to play, you can unlock these different awards. Uh, and then these awards allows you to customize your robot. So this is cool too. So you can customize the glasses. You can put glasses, uh, you got sunglasses. Uh, you got these different versions of glasses that you can unlock as you continue to play. Uh, and then we'll stay with the other accessories, including like hats, uh, you know, you could do like a unibrow. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do in here from faces and you can customize the character, but you have to progressively play throughout the game and do different uh, tasks and accomplishments. For instance, if I click on the eyes, I can add my glasses and I could check and now our robot has glasses. How cool. So moving on, we can click on our menu. Uh, we have code lab so we can program our robot by coding um, and then I can program our robot. So this is pretty cool. So you can create your own programs um, on the computer and then you can upload it to it. Uh, and then you also have family management. You have the camera mode. You can add members. You have the store. You have an alarm. Uh, and then you have a lot of different things that you can do, including exercise challenges. So this is kind of cool too because it uses uh, a tracking data to be able to do this. So let's see how this works out. Please take your positions. So it's looking for me. So in this case here, you can see how it's tracking me. How cool is that? This thing actually has tracking capability <laughs> to perform these actions. And then yeah, you do the different exercises. Right now we're in a smaller room, but it's crazy how it can track you. Look at that. That is so cool that this robot has that connect capability. So yeah, I mean, it's actually a pretty cool robot and it's got a lot of different feedback that you can use. Now it does have its own AI system in it. So I can uh, communicate with it with the sensors. So there's a touch sensor here on the top. To play? Touch my belly. All right. So we're going to touch its belly to play. Hi. What's up? How are you? Feeling satisfied. What's your name? I am Kemi. Nice to meet you, Kemi. You too. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go bake some cookies. What is two plus two? The answer is four. So you can communicate with it by touching the belly like this uh, to create a, give it a command. So for instance, if I click this again, do a dance. It'll pull up the dance menu where I can select a dance and have it demonstrate. Um, let's try this again. Go to sleep. and it'll turn off. <laughs> so 
So it's cool that you can do that and program it and essentially it is an AI system. Uh, it can interact with you, it can talk with you, it can learn. Uh, and overall, it's a really cool design concept. So it's lovely for the fact that you can build this thing. You learn how to build a robot. And then on top of that, you have all the inner workings of being able to program it, uh, see it dance, see it move, play games with it. It does have a lot of replay value. So yeah, I mean, there you guys have it. So that is Kemi. Now, if you guys had any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.